Hi guys, the probability of exactly one of two events occurs is this expression. It looks very familiar to you because you know the probability of A union B is probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. So when we want exactly one, it turns out we've got a minus two lots of them. Now a method of proof of this is same as the one for probability of A union B. But I thought I'd do it because um, it gives us practice in par finding partitions of space of a um, set, and also because it's a useful result. So let's shade what this thing looks like. We want probability of this union this bit. There's a word for this. We say we're looking here for a probability of um, a symmetric difference when we want exactly one of the two events occurs, and the notation for that is a triangle B that denotes a symmetric difference. Now there's two ways, uh, there's more than two ways, but I'm going to show you two ways to partition um, some uh, sets to get this result. The idea is to get the partition of some sets so that we can apply axiom 3 of probability. So you know that for these basic results of probability we we'll always defer back to the axioms. So let's uh, look at um, the symmetric difference of A and B. You can see that it's the union of A and not B and uh, B and not A. Since these, these two are the same sets, probability of that is the same as probability of the right-hand side. But the, these two events are disjoint, mutually exclusive, and so we can apply axiom 3 to it. So that's why it's additive. From there to there it's additive. Now we need to work each of these guys on the right-hand side. And again, we're going to just use a partition. Note that A can be partitioned with uh, A and B or, or A and not B, so these two form a partition of A. That means I can apply axiom 3 on the right hand side like to get this similarly, right? So then just rearrange to get this equals that minus that. Do the similar thing for B and not A, and just substitute the results 2 and 3 into 1. That gives us the result. Now that's quite a long winded way that was. Right, let's look at another way to partition. So the first way I showed you is to partition directly what we were interested in, um, a symmetric difference of A and B. Now let's think about, instead of doing that, finding a partition of A union B. So A union B, can I use a different colour here? Let's see. Right, a, B. So A union B is made up of the symmetric difference of A and B, which is this. Union, union A and B. And you can see that they're disjoint. So they're on the right hand side, they're disjoint. So by axiom 3, you know what's going to happen. So the probability of the union is sum of the individual probabilities. Just rearrange this to get probability of A symmetric difference of B. Now I'm using a result that we've proved before, that this is this, this, minus probability of A and B, minus, and this is where the extra probability of A and B comes in then, to give me two lots. If you guys are not happy that, that I just stated the probability of A union B, you can, can just do a little proof of that. Okay, that, that's all there is to it really. Exercise on partition again using axiom 3, but a useful result. Okay guys, um, probably a lot of more of these kind of small probability results that are useful and easy to prove, but I've got to stop sometime. Um, okay, I'll move on to other things. I'm sure you wanted me to solve other things. Uh, like, comment, and share.